I think it's great, the atmosphere is great, and I think me as well as everyone else is hoping it really kind of revives the area. Macon was rocking and rolling all night with the first concert at the Atrium Health Amphitheater. Big names like ZZ Top and Leonard Skinner had headlined the big night. More than 6,300 people were expected to flood into the theater, and more than 100 employees met them to scan tickets, patrol, or hand over food and drinks. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Suzanne Lawler in for Frank and Lori. As concert goers recover from last night, the amphitheater's general manager is gearing up for the next big show. And as Anthony Montalto shows you, Macon's mayor is looking even further than that. That way is the stage, that way all the seats, including mine, way out here in the nosebleeds. It's hard to believe a couple years later, me and my dad did sit out in the nosebleeds out in the lawn with a couple thousand other people for the first ever concert here at the Atrium Health Amphitheater. General manager here tells me they are calling it a big success. At the end, the parking lots were all clear in 25, 30 minutes, which you know is typically unheard of when you have that many people in the building. General manager David Aiello says his team is celebrating a win. But with a bigger show scheduled for next week, they can't celebrate long. They're already back at work. How do you create more signage? How do you have people relocating people to go to the other side where there's a lot less traffic and it's, you know, it's, it's smoother over there because the demand is less. As Aiello's team tweaks what he calls a successful opening night, Mayor Lester Miller is making plans for the future. Kind of be like an area like uh, Battery Park in Atlanta outside Sun Tru uh, Truist Park. Uh, they can kind of fill that up so people can have some outdoor activities to kind of pregame before the amphitheater and also the pickleball. Miller says it starts with building a hotel at the mall to give concert goers somewhere to stay when Tuesday or another day is gone. Uh, there's a lot of good companies out there that are going to be interested in that site. Uh, a lot of hotel uh, owners have reached out to us uh, about where do you want to put it at, where do you prefer that. Mayor Miller says this is all part of a plan to revitalize the Eisenhower Parkway corridor and make Macon a chart topper again. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Miller says the hotel and outdoor space would likely go near the JCPenney store overlooking the amphitheater. Look at how far the music venue has come. Two years ago, the county leaders broke ground on the site at the Macon Mall. Work started a few months later in 2022. The Macon Bibb Urban Development Authority gave them all nearly $43 million in loans to pay for the project. The county will pay that back with revenue from the amphitheater.